to this video, so I'm front to your video. Now today, I have a special unboxing for you. Special, because I know that uh, some people are going to um, hopefully like what's in a box. So, let's, um, let's have a look at the box. As you can see, it's a box and it's full of uh, boxy um, goodness. And uh, this thing uh, seemed to have more addresses on it than um, the uh, yellow pages of uh, Great Britain. So, uh, and uh, I think Northern Ireland as well, I'm not too sure actually. Uh, does the yellow pages have, uh, uh, does the mainland yellow pages have uh, numbers for Northern Ireland? I really do not know. Anyway, um, so without further ado, it's, um, it's time we actually uh, did some unboxing. However, safety precautions apply. First of all, if you are the sort of person that thinks that uh, Leonard Skinner with uh, Sweet Home Alabama is a holiday that is celebrated in Micronesia, then you probably shouldn't be the sort of person that um, is actually going about with a knife and should therefore get a responsible adult to do it for you. Oh, also, when unboxing something, you must always make sure to have a cup of tea to hand. Ah, that is fantastic. That really hits a spot. Now, So, let's unbox it. Sorry that uh, some of the box is off frame. There seems to be, um, there seems to be more tape here than in a 1980s entertainment store. However, we have some, uh, we have some, uh, I think it's polystyrene style felty material here with bubbles. It looks uh, like the sort of uh, material that um, monitors come packed in. And first, then we have a uh, Mickey Mouse lead. Uh, we also have a power transformer here. Replacement AC adapter. That's high qua. <laughs> and then if we dig in, let's uh, see if there's anything else. Nope, I don't believe there is. So, um, here we are. Here is a, uh, I knew some of you might like this. This is a Packard Bell Easy One Silver. And it has a Windows XP license key on the bottom. Barred! I don't think I'm going to be using XP with this. And uh, you'll... You'll actually get to see why. So uh, what I will do is I'll change the camera angle and uh, we'll have a look at this machine properly. And now that I'm getting to actually look closer at this machine, I am starting to think I probably should have tried to bargain for more of it. Because this speaker seems to be very rusted. Um, this speaker has a wee bit of rust as well, and the lid, well, the lid's in quite poor condition. I mean, that's, the, the condition of the lid isn't too bad, I mean, a lot of machines, especially machines of this colour, uh, the paint does tend to scuff, so, I mean, I'd kind of expect not, but the speaker's, hmm. 
Okay, um... Also... Um... So, let's have a look. So on the left hand side we have uh, line out, microphone and line in, a hardware volume switch, a 2 PTM CIA Type 2 R1 Type 3 PTM CIA slot, a floppy drive, and on the front we have the rusty speakers, a mail button, and um, there's a uh, a uh, light that indicates an AD AC adapter is plugged in, battery light, and I'm not too sure exactly what that is. That, that must be a charging light, I think. Um, on the other side, we have uh, what I believe is a hard disk caddy. We also have a DVD-ROM CDRW drive. Um, then we have uh, this guy, the uh, the LED shelf. Uh, is actually the uh, the trim above the keyboard. Sorry, is uh, actually quite easy to take off. Um, and then there's a room for red part. On the rear, we have uh, a uh, DCN. Did I say AC at the front? I meant DC. That's uh, that's AC to DC, not AC DC, but AC to DC. Um, we have a mouse and keyboard part. PS2 mouse keyboard part, two USB ports, a triple E twelve eighty four parallel, RS two three two series. That looks to me like it's an S video out, and then there's a modem and a Kensington lock slot. This machine has no Ethernet on it, but that's perfectly fine. So um, certainly parts wise, it is quite well equipped, um, and especially with the uh, two USB and infrared. So let's uh, let's now have a look inside the machine. So uh, here we have the machine. The screen looks like it needs cleaning. And unlike my other Easy One Silver that I had, which seems to have uh, expired, there's no spec sticker on here. And. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the rust in the speakers. Again, I like uh, the feel of these mice. You don't get this sound or this um, feel. I don't know how to uh, describe it. It's it's kind of more like a desktop mouse than the dull kind of thud type click that you get on regular laptop mice. But um, you can tell these buttons are worn. The keyboard looks quite worn. Um, this machine has got uh, media buttons. Play, pause, stop, rewind, fast forward, and then an X. And then a badge that says Easy One Silver. Um, and then a button, the power button there. Seems to have no battery in it. Well, no battery life. Um, so there we, so there you have it, the Packard Bell Easy Bake Oven. So um, I should probably let this dry out. I mean, after all, it is November; it's quite cold. So I should probably let this machine dry out for a wee bit. And to be honest, I have to. Um, but depending on how easy it is. I might actually switch cases with the other one because this case looks awful sad. It's to be honest, I'm I'm quite depressed by the way it looks. But um, there you have it. Here's a Packard Bell Easy Bake Oven. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please feel free to subscribe to my channel or even visit it. Um, URL will follow. If you like my channel, um, please feel free to like us on Facebook. That URL will also follow. But. Please join us again for my next video. Thank you for watching.